one of the biggest discoveries in ovarian cancer is the discovery of the hereditary breast and ovarian cancer syndrome. And the discovery that the two genes most responsible for that phenotype were BRCA1 and BRCA2. And we pivoted, we learned that about 17% of patients with newly diagnosed advanced ovarian cancer, including peritoneal and fallopian tube, have germline BRCA mutations. And then another 7 to 10% have somatic mutations. But here's the key, is that we learned that we could test for the BRCA gene in the patient and then interrogate the entire genealogy and find individuals that were BRCA germline mutation positive and do a risk reducing surgery. So the current recommendation is all patients, everyone with epithelial ovarian cancer, early on in the treatment paradigm be tested for germline according to the American Society of Clinical Oncology, the National Comprehensive Cancer Network, and the American Society of Clinical Oncology. So that is the current state of the art. And then in December of 2018, we got a companion diagnostic for frontline maintenance with Elaparib based on SOLA1. So now not only do we have to test for germline, but we have to test for somatic to find out about 25% of the patients who I think should be treated with maintenance oral Elaparib after response to platinum. And then, now we're beyond BRCA. We've learned that in addition to BRCA, there are other genes in the homologous recombination repair pathway that are important not only in prognosis, but also in predicting platinum sensitivity and PARP inhibitor sensitivity. And that test is called homologous recombination repair. There are two commercially available tests, one from Foundation Medicine, which is a loss of heterozygosity and genomic scoring, and then the Myriad test, which is not only loss of heterozygosity, but telomeric imbalances and large state transitions. So we've moved away from, or not away, we've added to germline testing, to somatic, to now HRD, and then together we can use the molecular signature to treat our patients and prevent ovarian cancer by identifying those that have these germline mutations in the family and doing risk-reducing surgery.